Love to, in reality, duck up to North Queensland, but we can only do it virtually for now. Let's catch up with Professor Peter Ridd, who joins us uh, from Townsville. Good to talk to you again, Peter. Uh, uh, it wasn't so long, so long ago that uh, Barack Obama was in uh, Brisbane saying he wanted to get his family to the Great Barrier Reef uh, while it was still there. Uh, you've been... Uh, looking at this Senate inquiry into the impact of farming uh, on the reef, and it turns out uh, that the scientific evidence shows it's much less than uh, the alarmists would try to pretend. That's right. We got some remarkable uh, admissions from the director of the Australian Institute of Marine Science. Uh, they've been going on about the inshore reefs are affected by farming, but they've never actually said what the inshore reefs are. It turns out, uh, we knew this in fact, it's only 3% of the whole Great Barrier Reef. And even when you look at the data on that, say pesticides, even on that 3%, pesticides are a low to negligible risk. So this was phenomenal. I mean, it basically means that uh, a lot of this new legislation the Queensland government is bringing on against farmers is completely unnecessary. As you say, you've been talking about this for a long while, but it was fantastic to get it from those sources, uh, clear, objective, scientific advice onto the public record so that people can make decisions around this. The other evidence that, uh, that uh, I've read from you uh, relates to the extent to which the reef is growing and uh, regenerating. Tell us about what we know about that uh, now compared to 50 years ago. Yeah, well, so corals uh, have like tree rings. They have rings. The big ones, as they grow, they lay down a ring every year. And so we've got data going back many hundreds of years. Uh, and if anything, the coral growth rates have increased. And in terms of the farming, which is what this Senate inquiry is about, there was no reduction in the uh, growth rate when farming started in the 1900s or whether it, when they really started to use a lot of pesticides and, and fertiliser in the 1950s. So everything's actually looking really good as far as the reef is concerned. And we finally, with some hard questions in the Senate, are getting these facts, which are actually being totally known, in fact, but we're actually getting it from the horse's mouth, which is good. But you're talking about Queensland government uh, regulation to... Uh restrict what farmers do along that uh, far north Queensland coast. Uh, what can the Senate inquiry do to change that legislation? Well, it can't do anything. But to one of the things I'm hoping is that we're ultimately going to get this, uh, what I've been describing as an Office of Science Quality Assurance, which will look at some of the, frankly, dodgy science which has been coming out of the institutions and actually uh, do what the Senate inquiry has done to a small extent, which is hold the scientific institutions to account. Because up to now, they've been able to go off and say some, frankly, silly things without ever being held to account. And that's what we ultimately need at a federal level, an Office of Science Quality Assurance. Now, if Anastasia Palaszczuk was to throw the border open for the school holidays, where should we go in Queensland to see healthy, vibrant Great Barrier Reef where there's not been bleaching or not been storm damage? Well, just about most of it, you'll see uh, fantastic coral. There's a, a few reef, reefs that have been really hammered by crown of thorn starfish. This always happens. Um, but basically, any of the tourist hotspots, you will see fantastic coral. Yeah, I, I wish it were me. I wish it were me. We'll have to book it in for some time to come. Thanks for joining us, Peter. I appreciate it. No worries. Thank you. Professor Peter Ridd there, who you know, who's uh, paid a high price for speaking about uh, his scientific research in the Great Barrier Reef and going up against the climate alarmists. He reckons if we can get up there, there is plenty of brilliant reef to have a look at. Let's hope we can all get up there pretty soon.